Hi, Gemini. So a few of you guys have been asking about the Gemini and Aquarius readings. Um, it takes a lot of energy for me to channel messages, so I spread them out during the week. So have a look at the schedule. I wrote it in the comments um, in some of the videos I posted this week. Tuesday is fire signs. Wednesday is earth signs. Thursday is water and Friday is air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So my readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time where you felt guided to the channel by spirit. These are also channeled intuitive messages. I use clairaudience, claircognance, clairvoyance to channel these messages. So this is not tarot. Don't confuse this with tarot. So Let's find out, Gemini, what's happening in your situation, what's happening in your life. We have the dolphin. Lover and any, any others? All right, Gemini. <clears throat> so we have you coming up with a spirit animal of the dolphin, which is a beautiful energy. Um, the dolphin is the bringer of joy. So I feel like you bring a lot of happiness and joy into other people's lives. You're a very beautiful, high vibe person and you're in the vibration of the dolphin. So you're really focused on your own happiness right now is what's coming through this reading. And I feel like you're really trying to just be happy despite whatever circumstances are in your life. So I think you're choosing happiness above all things. So you're trying to focus on the positives in life instead of the negatives. And you're coming up as sovereignty. So I feel like you've taken back your power in your life. I feel like there has been some circumstances in your life that have not been ideal. You have been facing so many challenges and you're still choosing to have a positive outlook on life. You're like, I can only choose how I react and respond to certain circumstances, no matter how difficult they are. I'm choosing to be strong. I'm going to take back my power, even though I have had some tower moments in my life recently. We've got the unexpected. So you've had some circumstances in your life that have been a little bit stressful, a little bit challenging. They weren't ideal. So whatever's happened in your life has been very unexpected. You know, it could be um, an unexpected breakup. It could be, um, you know, an unexpected job offer anything that's unexpected you know just like a big shake up of your world and i'm hearing unexpected pregnancy all these type of things you know uh it's a very intense kind of like energy so i feel like despite the unexpected you are shining you're radiating and you've got positive vibes and you're like i'm choosing my happiness no matter what comes my way i'm going to be strong and i'm going to choose happiness because i am the creator of my own reality and i'm choosing peace i'm choosing love i'm choosing joy and i'm choosing happiness and i can overcome any challenges that i face in life and that's that's the first message. So let's find out if there's someone you're connected to and what their spirit animal could possibly be. I'm just moving these cards over to the side so we can um, channel from here. Okay. Um, we have the horse. <laughs> I still feel like this is your energy. Like, I feel like you're breaking free from a dramatic situation. We've had like this come through a lot of the ratings where people are just, you know, choosing freedom. So I feel like you're choosing freedom. 
Um, so I feel like you had an unexpected tower happen in your life and you were like, I can either choose to dwell on this or I can break free. I can free myself from this dramatic or unexpected situation. I choose freedom. So I feel like you might've been trapped trapped in a in an unexpected situation right and in in the beginning it had you a little bit stressed out but you've chosen to embody the spirit animal of the dolphin and the horse and you've chosen to break free from this toxic situation you're like i'm choosing freedom i'm choosing happiness i'm choosing peace and i'm choosing to take back my power and i'm choosing to be strong so i feel like this is still your energy because you're breaking free from something unexpected in your life and you're choosing to just be happy because maybe this was like a narcissistic or abusive relationship or a job that was really hard or toxic or stressful however it applies to your life whatever this unexpected towering situation is that you came across you've broken free you quit the job you broke up with the toxic relationship you left you moved away from your family that was being dramatic however it applies to your life you chose you you chose happiness and you're vibrating the frequency of the dolphin now so that's really positive you know like you're just like i am the creator of my own reality i can choose peace i can choose joy i can choose love i can choose happiness or i can choose to dwell on this situation okay change and hunger so I also feel like you're very hungry for change. You desire to change your life. So I feel like you're like, you know what? I am so sick of this shitty job. I am so sick of the abusive relationship I'm in. I'm so sick of this drama in my life. I'm so sick of waking up every day and there's a new tower moment. There's another dramatic person that I have to deal with. Someone who's abusing me someone who's toxic a boss at work who just keeps putting shit on my table i've had enough and you were really hungry for change so i feel like you're just like that's it I, i'm quitting the job i'm breaking up with this person i'm giving my two weeks notice and i'm choosing happiness and i'm breaking free from this situation and i'm taking back my power and i'm standing up for myself and you're embodying the empress energy so that is the backstory here that's really positive energy so we're gonna leave that and i'm just gonna see if there's a person that you're dealing with what else comes through the reading but gemini is choosing peace happiness and freedom over drama <laughs> someone dramatic we have the raven I still feel like this is your energy, um, Gemini. I feel like you're very gifted. I feel like you're listening to divine downloads. So this reading is all about you. It's about you listening to divine guidance. You're listening to spirit. So I feel like you've been really connected with your spirit guides recently. You've been really listening to the messages and the guidance from spirit from the other dimensions. And your guidance was to break free and don't put up with abuse don't put up with drama. Don't put up with toxic people in your life to stand up for yourself. And you were very hungry for change in your life. And you decided, okay, I'm done with the drama. I'm done with these melodramatic situations and people. And you listen to your instincts. You listen to your gifts. And you chose happiness and peace and to break free because your intuition was nudging you. You were getting nudged and nudged and nudged and nudged and nudged and nudged and nudged by spirit to make the changes. So that's really positive. So I feel like um, that's all the intuitive cards they want me to pull. I'm actually going to Gemini use. Do you know what's weird? Every time I do a Gemini reading, it's like straight to the point and it's always really short. And I'm always like, oh, the Gemini's. It's like you guys might have like a short attention span and you don't want me to go on and on and on and on and on. Because every time I do Gemini readings, every time I channel them, they're very short and sweet. It's funny. I don't know. If, if that is you, Gemini, if you have a short attention span, <laughs> comment that in the section in the um, comment section if that resonates. But they're always the shortest, the shortest messages. So I'm actually gonna pull a couple of these cards for you because I love this deck. It's Brian Froud's fairy deck, and I'm using it in the extended reading. So what other messages do we have for Gemini? These cards are super hard to pull, to pull intuitively. Like, I can't really spread them out very neatly. So we're going to shuffle them. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a still Vanya. So I feel like you've been masking um, these feelings for a, a really long time that you weren't happy in whatever this undesirable situation was. So you were hiding your true feelings in this job or in this relationship. You're masking to everyone that you were actually happy with this person and you were hiding that they were abusive behind the scenes. You were hiding that, you know, your job, your job was something that you didn't like waking up to every day. This person was toxic. So with the Sylvanius energy, you have a sort, a sort of discernment here, a mask of truth. So I feel like you've, you've enlightened everyone around you. As you can see, there's this beautiful angelic being here. Um, and you're removing a false mask. You're ripping off your, your, your mask. So every day we put on a mask, we put on makeup, we put on a smile, we go to work and we mask our truth, we mask our pain. And you have ripped off the false mask and been like, you know what, I really hated this job. You know what, I really didn't like you that much to your partner. You were really mean to me, you were really toxic, you were really abusive and I wasn't really happy in this relationship and that's my truth. So you ripped off a false mask and you broke free. And that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Yeah. And then we got Lee to the shadows. So I feel like you broke out of this shady situation. So Lee to the shadows is breaking free from something dark. So you have escaped this dark relationship, this dark situation. Lee to the shadows is all about see this little pixie and fairy it's breaking free from a dark or toxic situation so i feel like maybe in the past you might have been a little bit hesitant or scared to um speak your truth and tell your boss hey i really hate this job anyway you treat me like shit you overwork me and the pay is bad and you kind of just went i'm over this and you broke free and then with the relationship you're like you know what I didn't really like you that much anyway. You treat me like crap. I was doing all the giving in the relationship. I don't really think you're worth tolerating this abuse. I deserve better. I wasn't really enjoying my time with you anyway because you wanted everything your way. So you know what? You can shove that up your butt <laughs> and I'm moving forward. And that's kind of what you've done here. So I'm going to get one more card because I love these cards. They're just like the best card. Oops. We have here the fiery sword. So I feel like you've chopped anything toxic out of your life. So here the fiery sword is all about a big karate chop, a big light, a big lightsaber coming in and chopping things. It's a sword of discernment. So you have two swords of discernment. So this is your lightsaber, and this is what it looks like when you. Um, like she healed your healed is what i'm hearing healed your sword the fire he of the fiery sword so you're chopping out anything toxic or dark and removing it from your life and breaking free like lisa the shadows so that's a really positive message i'm going to take this over to the extended reading gemini I find out a little bit more about where you're headed to and what you might be doing uh, moving forward, um, your guidance moving forward in this situation, any healing advice, you can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access this reading individually, or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. It keeps me on YouTube full time and helps me to do my light work. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can also show your gratitude through making a donation via my PayPal or donating a deck to the channel via my Amazon wish list, which helps me keep channeling creative messages and not get bored and then be missing on YouTube for a year like I did last year. So if you want to keep me on YouTube, they're your options. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye, Gemini.